to the depths of the tropical jungle. Actually, it's not a tropical jungle, it's a rather unkempt part of my garden. But nonetheless, what I am talking about today is when you get an idea and you're not quite sure how you're going to realise it. In fact, when your idea is better than your ability to play it. And I've got this idea for this particular kind of sound which sort of evokes the beauty of a tropical jungle at dawn, something like that. And I'm going to use quite a few acoustic instruments. Now, okay, we've got, what have we got? We've got um, whistles. These are chieftain whistles. There's a low D, there's a D and an A. We've got, um, oh, I love the ukuleles. We've got a couple of those. We've got a baritone and a soprano. We've got a couple of guitars, one tuned to open fifths, the old Epiphone, and an, a normal acoustic steel string, um, which is the Faith. We've got the um, Appalachian Dulcimer, all these things. Now, here's the thing though. I can't play any of them brilliantly. <laughs> I can play them a bit. And what I want to show you is actually, I think that with digital technology, the power of the idea is probably more powerful than have being an amazing um, uh, performer. Great if you could do both, but I suspect you and me, there's quite a lot of you out there who can have better ideas than you actually are able to execute. So let's see how this goes. Okay, here we go. What are we gonna start with? Um, I've just got a very simple template. It's got nothing in it, just an audio track basically. Um, so I'm going to go and get a couple of whistles. Uh, here we go. Um, let's start with that one. It's a little D chieftain whistle. And I'm just going to play a couple of little phrases in and then mess about with them. Because what I've just... You know, sometimes... God, wires everywhere. You know, sometimes you hear in your ear, you can, your mind's ear, you can hear this idea. Um, and it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. And I've got this idea, and I'm just not sure if it's going to work or not. Right now, I'm tying myself up in headphones. Help! Help! Ah! Let me out! Okay. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Okay, now. Okay. Ooh. So all I've got uh, is an uh, audio track. One, two, three. Oh, turn that down. That's better. Right. Now, I just want to sim I'm going to play some simple phrase. <laughs> got my microphone and headphones and oh lord. Didn't think th I didn't think this through again. Okay. okay. <sighs> what, are what are we, we doing? doing? 90, 90 beats, beats a minute. minute. Okay, um, let's take these off for a moment. Um, I have no idea how that worked. Uh, let's put some... This is definitely going to need some significant autotuning. Because <laughs> I... The, what the story of this video really is, is how do you make something sound half decent when you can't really play any of the instruments properly? Ah, that sounds like you as well. Good. You know, am I a great guitarist or uh, no? Can I play the ish? Um, so look, I've, I've preloaded some auto tune on this so that we can. What are we doing? Ninety beats a minute. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's in A. Let's let's. That was in D. So let's try. This is severely auto tuned because I quite want that strange. Quite nice. Mm. Okay, I'm going to try. The uh, jury's out. Um, I'm going to 
keep that one and try a different one. Um, this all sort of is about how to write music. Oh, did I say how to write music? That sounds like a great name for a course. How to Write Music is my online course that takes you through every step of the process. How to get going, chord progressions, tune writing, developing and arranging your music, six hours of exclusive video tutorials, a course text packed with tips and a supportive online community. Get more out of your music and sign up today. If it's the sunglasses of doubt, it's the headphones of torture. Uh, okay, I'm going to try a different one. I'm going to try a different one. Uh, and try playing in, this is a chieftain whistle in A. Okay, see, I think I'm only really looking for one version of this which works and then I'm going to cut and paste it and layer it and do all kinds of things. That was the idea. Is this the one? Is this, is this the one? Let's turn the autotune back on. See. Bit of reverb. Okay, I'm decided. Just decided off the spur of the moment. This is indeed the one. Is it? I don't know. Right. So what am I going to do with this? We've got a perfectly nice little um, thing going on there. I'm going to duplicate it. Um, we've got it auto tuned. Um, we're going to duplicate the track. And then we're going to offset uh, these by a couple of bars. So uh, we've got that going on. Then we're going to duplicate the tracks again. What I want is this sort of wall of sound thing going on. Actually, let me just take that one down there. And then that one down there. Um, and what I might do with these... Okay, let's see if this is sounding any good with just the two of them to start with. Okay. That's sort of what I had in mind. Okay, okay, I, I do quite, I do quite like that. I'm now going to duplicate the whole lot. I was then going to try running a couple of them backwards. Try that. With these remaining two, what I thought I might do is put some fairly radical pitch shifting uh, software on them. Um, so I'm, the one I like best for this is this one, Sound Shifter, which is a, a, a so I'm going to take it down a fifth. So that's seven semitones. There we go. And see what happens. Okay, and then I'm going to, if this works. It does work. Okay, um, so actually I'm going to move that one off another bar, I think. What happens if I run that one backwards? So I've got a f one running at a fifth back, uh, okay.
Okay, I like that. Now I'm going to bounce the whole lot out. Uh, but not before I've worked out how I'm actually, hang on. Um, I need to have a good look at this. Because the one thing I can't change once I've bounced it out is the overall mix. So I don't want any of these standing out too much. I want it to be a sort of wall of stuff. Let's, I'm going to, there's something which is working in, ah, that's what's going on. Those are, the, are you hearing those two locked in fifths together? It's these two, look, that one and that. So this is sort of, <laughs> the sort of freaked out sound designery parallel fifths problem. Okay. That's better. That's better. Uh, what I was hearing, I was hearing this sort of ringing parallel fifth thing going on, uh, which was sort of spoiling my sort of wall of sound thing. So we're going to export this. Uh, it's, uh, I think I've got all this set up so it's nice and quick. Flute wall. There we go. Look. One of the reasons we're bouncing this out is because, you know, things like Autotune can use quite a lot of uh, CPU. And to have dozens of tracks all madly being auto-tuned to hell is probably not the best idea in the world. So what I think we'll do is we'll bounce it out until we get this, effectively, this sort of flute pad thing, and then we'll start putting other stuff with it. Um, if you're hanging around here for a bit, why don't you subscribe? Because we do this kind of thing quite a lot. Remember, and hit the little bing bell dingy thing because then you'll get notified when we do interesting new things, sample reviews and all that kind of thing. Okay. Meanwhile, let's disable those tracks. Now, let's see what we got. There it is. Um, now, I'm going to uh, listen to that back and see what we can add to it. Th what I'm putting on here is, look. H delay with a ping pong and a setting of uh, a dotted eighth note. And some long lexicon. I rather like this. I think this is quite nice. So now we have our flute wall down the bottom. Um, what are we going to put with it? I got this, I this old acoustic guitar, which is missing one string, and just tune it to open fifths. Ah, that would work. Okay, where's my headphone? Oh, <sighs> headphone time again. What great news that is, eh? Uh, okay. Um, now, let's have another audio track. Audio track, uh, guitar. What I'm going to try and do uh, is play some harmonics. And not being a guitarist, this is going to be challenging. But maybe that guitar is not up to it. Hang on. Let's try the other one. Instantly better. Okay. Right, where were we? Old. What a difference, eh?
If it's any consolation, all you guitarists out there who are shouting at the screen saying, what an idiot, why doesn't he do it like this? I can't hear you. <laughs> Which is a shame because you probably, at least half the viewers of this channel must know how to do that better than me. Um, anyway, look, the thing is, the thing is about this sort of thing is that you only have to play it right once. <laughs> and then, oh, what a difference, eh? Then you just chop it up and use it. I can see where I started getting it right. Look, because I, I let it ring. They say vibre, that's what they say. Okay. Well, I can see where I started getting it right, which is about uh, there. Okay. And so we chop these up into individual ones and see if we like them. Okay, so now um, we're going to compress them to hell because we want um, the ring at the end to ring out. So um, let me put let me put a compressor on it. Uh, we'll put that one on and we're going to classic compress. Uh, we want to slow, we don't want that much. We want to take it down a bit. We want sort of two, three to one, attack quite slow, threshold quite low. Let's see what that's going to sound like. Yeah, that's the effect. So you get, by compressing it, what you're getting is, whoops, um, you're getting the, that sort of long ring ringing for a lot longer. Okay, let's see how we get on with these. So we got, what happens when I put them first? Okay, first of all, uh, we're going to... Can you hear how the sound changes as I'm changing the attack on the um, compressor? Because obviously the sooner the compressor comes in, the more it's going to affect that transient right at the start. And, okay, that's nice, I like that. Now we're gonna obviously add uh, some, come on funky plugins, but we haven't really got a piece of music yet, have we? We've just got a. Shall I put the delay on as well? No. duplicate the track uh, and run these ones backwards and then turn them right down and turn okay and offset them like that and reduce their volume quite a lot I do have to start thinking about rhythm eventually. So that I quite like as a sort of um, as a sort of backing thing going on. What? Okay.
is this turning into an ambient load of twaddle? Um, what I'm not sure about is how I'm going to get out of this harmonic sort of lock I've got myself into. Um, I'm just going to add one more instrument, which is, I'm just going to put in um, largely because I find it easier to write. Uh, I'm going to try put a little tiny bit of guitar in and see if I can make any sense out of any of this. Because uh, I want this to work, and we're nearly there, and it's nearly good, and it's not quite there yet. So I'm going to load up my favourite, which is Evolution Steel String. I know I've got guitars playing around, but I just, I'm not a natural guitarist, and therefore I don't write particularly well. Let's see what I can come up with. Oh my god. going to work. It is going to work. Is it going to work as well as I hope? Not yet, to be absolutely honest. It's not doing what I hoped it was going to be doing by this stage. But let's see if I can't get some... is where um, the big chord will come in.
Is there any point in having a go? Are, are these guitars doing anything at all in the bottom here? Let's, okay, I'm going to just try adding uh, a little kind of lead line on my baritone uke. Too early, guy, too early. Don't come in yet. Wait, 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 wait. Second time round. Ready, ready, ready. Is everybody ready? Here we go. Missed it, missed it. You wait. Just like buses. That was half good and half utter, complete, total, twaddly, rubbishy thing. Um, so what we're going to do... It's dragging on a bit, isn't it? Um, okay. <sighs> Should we sort out what... The main thing you take away from this is even if you play these instruments as badly as I do, you can actually come up with something that sounds half decent. We've just got to do a lot of editing. Let's drag that down so I can see it. slightly lost the way. Is this any good or not? Okay. Um, a significant amount of time later, I think we guess we have, if we've got there, we've arrived. Um, it's, it's not quite what I was hoping for, but it's, it's interesting. And I think I, I like the, I like the, the fluty thing going on underneath. I think it works. Uh, a bit too much strings in here at the moment.
So there you go. As far as it's gone, it's gone. I mean, so we started out with a couple of flutes and some weird and wonderful stuff, and we used some of it. And um, anyway, I quite, I, I've had quite a nice time. <laughs> I hope you, I hope you felt that, you, that was time well spent. I mean, what I'm sort of hoping you take away from this, in a way, is a, um, you don't need to be a genius instrumentalist to make quite an interesting sound out of an instrument because digital audio is very forgiving. You only need to get it right once. And two, um, that if you use all these kind of layering and sound designery type techniques, you can produce some quite interesting sounds. Um, maybe I should, you know, um, I know you, I could have done away with the strings completely and just gone with that. And maybe that would have been, uh, I don't know, it needed some direct. Anyway, look. I'm going to sit and think about this for a bit more, but thank you very much indeed for your company, and I'll see you again very soon, I hope.